There's an idea in social ecology that says that our relationship to the earth essentially mirrors our relationships with each other. And so the ecological crisis is not just a problem in nature, but what it is is, you know, you pick your metaphor. Either it's a branch or it's a symptom or it's an inevitable outgrowth of our relationships with each other. And so it's not surprising um, that the kind of crisis that we see ourselves now also mirrors the kinds of things that we do to each other. Um, One thing that I think is important about the current ecological crisis is that we seem to be someplace new. We seem to have found ourselves in a situation without precedent within human history, which is that we might have created certain ecological conditions that make it impossible for us to survive. Um, and that's, that's a really interesting place to be, um, especially because we have to think about the future in a way that doesn't seem to be inherent, at least to the current system that we're operating under. Capitalism only can look forward for about as far as an investment may return in a reasonable fashion, right? So capitalism looks forward about 10 years, maybe that's their event horizon. Um, and we're looking at things that may, you know, we may survive in the next 50 years, but 100 years from now, maybe not. And so it doesn't seem like capitalism is capable of creating a solution to a problem 100 years down the road. Um, and so what do we do about that? Right? I feel like if there's one thing that we can use as a rallying cry to unite all of the different concerns that are happening within the anarchist community, then it needs to be by taking a look at the ec ecological crisis and saying, all right, this is our opportunity. Right. This is the one thing that capitalism really can't fix. I mean, there are many things, of course, but this is one thing that they're not going to fix. And it's going to create an immediate result within our communities, right? 